everybody, welcome to my home. My name is Becky. I am so excited that you're here today. And the reason I am so excited today of all days is because it is time, I cannot believe I'm saying this, but it is time to start decorating for Halloween. And I feel like we just did this. I feel like I just packed up all of my Halloween goodies and now it's time to pull them back out again and I could not be more happy. So Flossie is back with me again today and she is gonna help me decorate. She is all decked out for Halloween. Finally, she's been trying to fight it as hard as she can by not wearing her Halloween clothes, but you know what? It's time. We have both busted out our Halloween garb and we're ready to start getting the holiday spirit on. So if you love to decorate for Halloween, I want to tell you to go get a drink, sit back, relax. I'll probably have more than one um, installment of this because I do have so much decor that I decorate my house with and I do decorate my whole living room, my whole kitchen. I decorate everything that doesn't move in this house. So we have a lot of fun when it comes to Halloween. So let's get started. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm gonna show you what all we're decorating with. I have not taken everything out of the boxes yet. It does look like a lot, and it is a lot. I'm not downplaying that at all. It is a lot. But remember, we've got skeletons, we've got pumpkins. You know, it's, it takes up space in these boxes. So um, try not to judge me too harshly when you see all this Halloween decor that I have. But when it all comes together, you're gonna say, oh, it was worth it, it looks great, and I can see why she loves this holiday so much. So let's get started. I don't wanna waste a single second. This is kind of embarrassing because I do realize how excessive this is. I, I get it, and I have beat myself up over it. Every single box that I carried from the shed to the house, I was grumbling under my breath saying how ridiculous it is about how much Halloween decor that I have. I, I, I don't have any excuses <laughs> other than what I said earlier is that, you know, this stuff is kind of big, like pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns and skeletons and things. They do take up room in the boxes, which I, can, I can't fit as much in there as if it were small things. But, you know, that's my only excuse. Other than that, yes, it is excessive. It is a lot, and it is ridiculous. And I get that, and I own that. But here we go. Let's get started. So it is a gloomy day outside. I'll show you a quick view outside. It's kind of rainy. It is the perfect day to decorate for Halloween. I'm gonna turn this light on, so don't let it... Okay, yeah, it wasn't too bad. David replaced my light bulbs with ultra bright light bulbs so I can see and film and it's they're awesome, so I'm happy about that. So let's get started. I do have a Christmas tree here that we're gonna put up. We did that last year. This is a different tree. And then I do wanna share one thing with you that I did not show in the haul and it's kind of sitting up for you to see. This is my new wreath, 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 that my sister made for me. This was a birthday present for me. My porch is gonna be, like I said, Hocus Pocus themed, and she made this just for me. So I love it, and I wanted to share it with you. So there is that. I think that was all that was new that I wanted to show you. Oh, let me show you this girl. David hasn't seen this yet. I don't know what he's going to think about it. So front porch is going to be Hocus Pocus. I saw this at Spirit Halloween. I had a coupon and I got that to be Binks the cat to put on the porch. Maybe it'll be a little scare effect when people walk up to the porch, but I think she was like $15 or something like that. So that's the only thing new that I have added since the, since the haul. So let's get started. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick a box and I'm going to open it up and then let the wind blow me on which direction in the house that we're going to decorate because I've taken everything down. Everything is cleared out. Um, so here's above my, my television. The corner's cleared out. Everything is clean. I even cleaned this shelf off this year. So we're going to do something over there. So we just have a clean slate to play with and... I'm not sure where we're going to get started, but we're going to get started somewhere decorating for Halloween. Let's get started. <laughs>
are you ready to see everything? All of my shame? All right, that's, that's just a little bit. We're gonna come around here. This is everything for my tree. And then the rest of it is just in pure chaos. That's the only thing organized. <laughs> it is just pure chaos in my house. And as I like to say, Halloween has threw up all in my house today. So here we go. I want to do things differently than I did last year. So we're think I'm thinking that's not where those are staying. That's just where I stuck a few of my witches. I'm thinking that I want to put my um, haunted houses up on the mantle this year and try something different. But I also have all of my ghosts that I would like to kind of do a little collection together too. So I'm not really sure how it's all gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna play around with it a little bit. But for now, like I said, this is gonna be more than one video. There's just too much and I can't get it all done in one day. For now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate this hutch. And the only thing that I'm wondering about is last year I did not have this paper in here. The paper comes out pretty easily. It can be taken down no problem, but I really don't want to if I don't have to because I would like to put it back up after Halloween. So if I can get by with keeping the paper up there in there, I would like to, but I'm not really sure because the plates that go up there are bright white like this and the paper is off white. So I'm kind of at a crossroads here. I don't know whether to take the paper down or not. I might just go ahead and just keep it up there just to see. And if it bothers me, I'll come back later and take it down. I also think I'm gonna take down these plates. I just haven't done it yet. But um, let's do that. Let's put the plates up here, see how they look and start decorating my hutch. All right, so I have six orange plates. I'm gonna put those up first. And I have a pattern that I'm gonna use, so I'm not just kind of doing this willy-nilly. I kind of know what I'm doing, so. Well, I sort of know what I'm doing. I'm gonna put one here. And there. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the two bottom shells. I'm gonna do that. And then the next plate that I have are these. I showed you these last year. I got these from, I don't know, TJ Maxx Marshalls, one of those places. They were $3.99, but I've had them for several years. I don't know. I haven't seen them in a while, so I don't know that they still have them. I'm going to put one here. Here. And then two more on the second shelf. I did dust my shelves. I dusted my whole house. I cleaned my whole house, but when I was unpacking, I got a little bit of, um, you know, schmutz everywhere. And then I only have two of these striped plates. Um, these came from Hobby Lobby. They were in the spring collection. They're normally $4.99. I believe they come out with these every year. The trick is that you have to pick them up while they're out, which is during the springtime. So you have to have Halloween on the brain all year long to be able to, to do that. But when I got them, they were on super clearance. So I think they were like 50 cent a piece, but there were only two left, which is fine because that's all I need for my little shelf. And then I'm gonna put this last one up at the top. Okay. And then we're gonna put, let's see, what else do we have? Oh, I have these. Same situation from Hobby Lobby. These were like a quarter, I think. And 
I have one, two, three, I have six of these. So I'm gonna place these in front of the orange plates to kind of Halloween them up a little bit. I guess I'm gonna have to dust again. I made quite a mess. The, the mess is coming from my florals, my dried florals. Oh, did I show you my shoes? These are the shoes I got from Timu. <laughs> they were like less than $20, I think. They're really comfortable though, I like them. I had to tighten them up a little bit on the shoestrings, but they're really cute. And the last dishes that I'm gonna put up there are these. I got these last year at Home Goods. I'm out of breath. <laughs> I call these my screaming pumpkin plates because the pumpkins are kind of screaming in agony, but they're, I didn't see them this year, but I, you know, they come out with new stuff every year. I'm sure you can find something just as cute. And these are gonna go right here because I only have two of them. And then I'm gonna put the other one up at the top. Last year, I'm gonna have to move my little camera, but last year up here at the top, I had, right up here, I had a garland that went all the way across. And I have kind of wondered back and forth if I should do that or not, if I should keep the garland or not. And I think I'm going to skip it this time because I wanna do something just a little bit differently this year. I don't want it to be the exact same thing that you saw last year. Definitely got to take those plates down. I'm sorry, I just went on the ADHD train. <laughs> Let me reel it back in. I will take those down. Um, so what I thought I would do is put a sign up there with some florals around it and kind of get the same idea, the same feeling and you know overly abundance of fall floral, but at the same time not overdo, not do the same thing that we did last year. So. I'm gonna do that real quick. I'm gonna take those plates down because they are bugging me. And I'm gonna get a sign to go up there at the top and just get something to kind of lean it up against maybe. I'll be right back. So I'm gonna climb up here on my handy dandy ladder. And I've got some florals for foliage. I've got this sign here. And I've got a little, whatever you call it. An, easel. I don't know what you call it. I'm going to climb up a little bit higher because this is not quite tall enough for me. Hopefully you can see me. And nope, you can't. I need to readjust here. Hold on one second. Let me move back just a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, that might be a little better. Okay. So I'm just going to sit that little easel up there and I'm going to sit my spooky sign up. And hopefully that's centered. I'm not really sure. Can't really see where I'm at. And I know you don't have the best angle, but I'll let you see a better angle in a minute. I have two different kinds of florals here. This one, you're gonna see all throughout the whole thing. I use this everywhere. And that's my way of making everything cohesive. No matter what I do and what room, this floral is gonna be there and it's all gonna match. And I'm out of breath already. This is just some I had left over from fall. So I'm gonna add that as well. And I'm just gonna kinda tuck it in and see if it kind of comes together. Hopefully it does. Cause I've never done this before. But I have three of these yellow ones here that I'm gonna use. And I have plenty of the red um, I just picked up, I think, five of them for now. And I wanted to put some lights up here, so I'm probably going to come back and do that as well. And I wanted it to kind of drape over the edge a little bit. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to step down just to see if I can see it, if it looks right and see if I like it before I put any more work into this because 
Like I said, this is different. I haven't done this before, so we may need to add something. So let me see how it looks. This day is just getting better and better. <laughs> I just did a whole thing up there with the camera not on. I've got to do better. All right, so let me start over. This needs to be a little fuller. I could, I could fill this whole top up, and I know you can't see it very well right now. I get that. I'll, I'm going to fix it in a minute. I'm struggling with my angles. I could fill this whole top of the shelf up with pumpkins and florals and lights and just make it a whole Halloween explosion extravaganza. But this shelf is getting ready to be packed full too. So I don't wanna go too crazy. I wanna kinda of keep something on the minimalistic side if this shelf is getting ready to be packed full of knickknacks and whatnots and tchotchkes and all the good things. So, I'm gonna keep it simple. Now, I may come back and add. I'm not gonna say that, I'm not gonna do that, but um, we're gonna add this greenery to just add a little fullness to this, and then I'm gonna show you, blah, blah. and then I'm gonna show you a close up and let you see it, and then we'll come back and we'll make changes if we need to, but for now, let's just kinda of keep it a little bit on the calmer side of things, and that way we're not going too crazy. All right, and this is just um, greenery that I got from the Hobby Lobby, and it's bright green normally, but I spray painted it with orange and yellow to give it a more autumn color scheme to match everything in my house better. So, we're gonna do that real quick. I can't put too much because you're gonna hide the sign. And let's just leave it at that for now. You may not be able to see the spooky too well. I may have to raise it up a little bit, but I don't want to spend a ton of time on it if you're not going to be able, if we're not going to keep it. So this is a close up of what it looks like. I put two boards down there so you can kind of see to raise up the spooky part. And I did add my lights. I just left some lights laying up there because my strand was a little long and hopefully it will illuminate when the lights are out. And then I just stuck the leaves back up in there. And then let me back up a little bit so you can see it all put together. And that's what it looks like from a distance. I need to bring that side right there up a little bit, but I can do that in just a minute. So the other thing that would look really cute up there is maybe some of those birds that I bought on a little pedestal or something. Those would be really cute. But let's get this part decorated first before we go too crazy because we really need to be conscientious of how busy we're getting it over here. All right, and, and it, side note, the white paper in the background is not bothering me right now. Is it bothering you? I think it's, I think it's gonna be okay. I think the white screaming pumpkin dishes are a little more on the muted side and it kind of goes together. So we're okay so far. All right, so before I start decorating the shelves, let me just show you this too. I, um, I added this to the top as well. You see it kind of hanging down up there. This is just a, I, I use this for everything. I use this um, for fall, for Christmas. It is just like a filler and it adds a little extra something to any kind of floral display that I do. It just kind of drapes down and it just makes it more interesting to look at. So I did add four of those. And I'm also pretty sure I'm gonna put something else up there, but like I said, I'm gonna come back to that in just a few minutes. So let's start filling these corners with all of my tchotchkes. This one here, this little pumpkin here, I have had for a long, long time. So we're gonna start with that because it's one of the bigger pieces that I have. So I'm gonna sit that up here. And then I'm just gonna kind of look around the room and see what I can find and I'll sh talk to you about it as I find it. These are just a few pieces that I usually use up here. Actually, I don't use this one up here, but I stuck it up here, so we might use it. I'm not sure. But um, this came from Kirkland's. This piece right here came from um, Old Time Pottery as well as this piece here. This piece here came from Walmart. I've had it for several years. And then I've had this little trio of witches for a while too. And that came from TJ Maxx. So, oh, and I have this little 
cat here that I got thrifting or antiquing last year. And he holds this little, little sign. So I'm just gonna kind of try to find a place for these. I'm gonna use some books to prop them up and then um, just kind of play around with it for a little bit. <laughs> that I'm thinking I might can use up here. I'm really struggling a little bit because I really want to do it different than the way that I did it last year. But I'm kind of like, it's, it's a lot slower of a process when I'm trying to reinvent the wheel. So if you come back later at the um, whole house tour, it may be completely different. This is the very first shelf that I'm decorating in the house. So I may want to use this pumpkin somewhere else later. I don't know, but this at least will give me a starting point. So I've just got a handful of things. I'm gonna kind of show them to you as I go. All right, so we'll start with these little bowls here. They're little nesting bowls. And then I have some styrofoam to go in between the different um, levels. So I'm gonna put those up first. And you'll see they're kind of inverted in pattern. And like that okay hopefully that'll be good and sturdy I just took the sticker off of them I've had them for a couple of years but they were $9.99 at Marshall's that's where they originally came from and then this was new this year I got him at Home Goods so I put him here because I love the stripes got lots of stripes up there happening and then this little guy right here I had last year, got him from Ross. He was very inexpensive. I can't remember how inexpensive, but he was pretty cheap. This little bowl was a gift from one of my birthday presents several years ago, and I just have him in a little plate holder. Put that right there. It says trick or treat. And here we go. Let's do, let's put Freddy up here. Freddy was a thrift store find that I found at the Goodwill a couple years ago. So I'm going to put him up here next. He's going to go, I think, we'll put him up here at the top where we had him last year. And I can always come back in with some books later. And um, I'm definitely going to put some greenery in um, in just a little bit too. And then I have this cute little black cat mug. I think he came from Walmart. I'm gonna put him up there with Freddy. And let's see, what else do we have? Mm, I have this little sign that I got this year at Burlington. So I'm gonna put that up there somewhere. How about here? That's cute. Okay, and then I have these little signs here. I have two of them. They were like $1.99 each. This one says it came from the Christmas tree shop, and this one says it came from Old Time Pottery. So I've only ever been to the Christmas tree shop one time in my life, and that was in Jacksonville, North Carolina. And we drove a long way to get there because I had never been before, and I was so excited to go. It was a little bit of a mess. <laughs> um, it wasn't quite what I expected it to be, but I got to go. I checked that off my bucket list. And then I have this little guy here, and I'm pretty sure he came from Old Time Pottery too. He was $2.99. Just gonna put him here. And let's see. 
All right, this little thinking, contemplating skeleton man, I'm going to sit his little buddy here beside him. I'm just going to set him up on a candle. Turn the candle around so he's not too busy. Okay, and then I've got these little angry pumpkin mugs. I have two of them. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in this corner here and make one higher than the other. This is the do Dollar General stand that I got the other day. So we'll make one taller than the other. This little sign goes on my cat. I'm gonna hang him right there. He does not like to stay there. Okay, what else do we have? I've got this little pumpkin that I picked up this year at Ross. Maybe he can go up at the top. And he lights up too. We'll put him right there. It's a cute spot. Okay. And I have this little sign here that I've had um, a couple years. This came from Ross. So we'll put that there. And it's filling up. I have a couple little salt and pepper shakers here. So let's put something right here just to give it a little something else there. And then I've got these ones here that are Ray Dunn in the shape of a cauldron. So we'll sit those here. And then I think if I just put some florals up there, I should be good. That should be a gracious plenty for those shelves. And then we're gonna come back to the top in just a minute because I do have this here. I'll go ahead and show it to you. Um, I have this little felt pumpkin and I have this little raven. And what I did was I put these little pins in his feet. Those pins are what you would use for floral decorating. And I think I'm gonna set it up on the very top beside the spooky sign. So I'm gonna sit that right there. We'll put that up in just a minute. And then let me put my florals in there and I'll be right back. All right, so I stuck my little florals up there and this is all that it is. I just had, I think I got these from Michael's several years ago, but what I like about these is that they're small. Let me show you what I mean. If you go to Hobby Lobby and you get a small pick, this is a small pick. I like the small leaves. They just, I don't know, I just like them better. This takes up so much room and they're pretty and I'm not complaining about them, but I just like these better. So that's what I have up there. And I just kind of tucked them in all the little nooks and crannies. All right, and I think what I'm gonna do is climb back up here and I'm gonna put that pumpkin up there that I had set up. So here, these are my two options. So I have this set up and I've just got it in a little, gosh, I've had this thing hundred years. It's just a little candle holder that I use as a pedestal. I'm just gonna use that or I could also put my witch that I got from Salem last year and I could sit her up there as well. So I'm gonna try the pumpkin first, I think, but the witch would be so cute up there as well. I just haven't quite decided yet. You might see a completely different thing when it's all over. <laughs> but those are my two options for the top of the cabinet. But I'm gonna try the pumpkin. And um, like I said, I got some black crows or ravens or whatever you wanna call them from Timu. And I've got some tape. I'm gonna see if I can tape them up there a little bit as well and, and put a few. I've got two over here that I'm gonna try to tuck up in there.
thing that I have to do is the bottom part. And I don't do a lot down there because, again, I like to try to keep it kind of um, minimalistic because there's so much going on up here. But I do have this little trick-or-treat pillow. And I have my little Binks cat that came from Walmart. And um, I just kind of tucked them in there. And I did that last year. There's nothing new or different with this. This basket is one that I keep all of my... Um, books in year round so i just kind of move my books to a different place long enough for for halloween and then there's that i could also tuck a little blanket in there because good grief i have enough of them but i think this is good enough i do have <laughs> these little guys right here that i could put down there i haven't quite decided where they're going yet so i could put them there they will fit so we could do that, but I'm not quite sure if I love it or not. I think, I think what I don't like about it is that it's symmetrical on both sides and I don't like symmetry in my decorating. I like it to be all mixed up. So, um, I mean, like I could do this, I could take this out and do like one taller than the other, maybe, and I would be fine with that. This is just an example, I'm not using these, but I could do that and I'd be happier with it because it's it's not exactly the same on either side, but I don't know where these guys are gonna live at yet. <laughs> they are, um, they were a surprise on how big they are, so I'm not quite, haven't made my decision yet. So I'm gonna put my basket back for now and we're gonna call this video done for today because I feel like my head is, I've thought so hard and I've tried to wrap my brain so much on how to do this shelf that I'm a little, I need a little break. <laughs> so we're gonna call it a day. We're gonna call it done and I'm going to take a little break have a little sweet snack, a little sweet treat as we like to call it around here. And I might move on to the next today or I might do it tomorrow, I'm not sure. But either way, I'll be back soon. I'm gonna show you everything that I've done, like a full view in just a second, but I'm gonna go ahead and say my goodbyes. As always, I do appreci appreciate you all so much. I appreciate you spending your time with me and a little bit of your day with me. It means the whole world. If you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so because we've got a lot of Halloween content coming up. And until next time, I love you all and I'll see you later. Bye.